guys, hey girl here, Selected Focus Photography. I want to show you my 50 millimeter, my 85 millimeter, and my 75 to 300 millimeter EF lenses that I'll be using on my EOS RP. The look of the 50 millimeter on the ESRP, really compact, nice. It has an excellent footprint. This is the 85 millimeter ultrasonic. And for me, this is an awesome little lens. Of course, until I can afford to get a native RF lens. I'm looking at maybe $1,500. Yeah, $1,500 for one item is something that I really have to plan for. And I think that I have enough kit right now. With the kit that I have, I have $1,800 worth of kit. If I can't make good images with this, I can't make any good images with nothing. Okay, guys. I've got a few of these I'm going to submit. I like this one right here. It looks pretty good. It could have been a little sharper, but at 100%, and it's being the focal of the composition I think I I'll hit it with a little auto now that's that's so Now I'm not going to do a little a hard edit on this because they get kind of funny about it. So all I'm going to do is uh, just a little exposure. And I'm going to leave it at that. And we'll open it up to Photoshop. What I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll put a border around this because I might I might post this to uh, social media as well. And I'll have to come out of content of where to do that. And now what I'll do is <clears throat> I like to put my metadata on before I go to uh, before I uh, submit to the um, stock sites because it's a lot of work to try to put all that information in when you get there you know so what I do is I try to do it ahead of time and that way all I have to do is just uh, submit my you know put my submissions in and to click three of these they all look pretty decent
go. Now, I'll go into my history and uh, I'll reopen the file. I mean, it might be a better way to do it, but you know, this is how I do it. So. Now, what I'll do is I'll crop it down. This is my focal point, so I'm going to crop it down. Still a pretty decent file, 5,000 by 3,000. Since we redid this, we'll have to go back through it again. But hopefully, oh, oh, hold on. hopefully, not be so. So I'll get a chance to see what um, what the uh, reviewers at the uh, stock agency uh, think about this uh, full frame uh, camera. Okay, guys, let's see what the uh, RP did. Okay, for Shutterstock, I have one, two, three. Actually, this thistle, I, I took this thistle with my uh, Galaxy. So I wasn't really expecting too much from that, from these people. They're really kind of crazy when it comes to the... Uh, the way they grade images here. Uh, another one rejected. I like that. Proved on site. This image has already been accepted. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> and that one's approved. That one's approved. That one's rejected. Okay. And they approved this one. Now this was done with the 80D, I believe. Okay, so let's see what uh, Adobe Stock did. Okay, they accepted uh, four, which is good. Let's see what Dreams Times did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They accepted seven. See what Alame did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They accepted seven. And this is pawn five. One, two, three, four. So, as we can see, um, Shutterstock is is my 
best selling site. I, I sell more images on Shutterstock than any place else. And, um, but they are really squeezing out the contributors. So I don't contribute as much. The standards is higher, but you get, you get some money from it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you, uh, if you got any value, hit the, uh, subscribe button, the like button. Uh, when you come back, just know this. My main thing is to give you some type of motivation for pursuing your own dreams. Because if I can do it at 66 and, and on a budget, then anybody can pursue their dreams. You just have to have a plan. Make a plan and, and go after it. Anyway, until uh, the next video.